For these questions, we are going to classify different shapes. Specifically, we're going to be classifying quadrilaterals. And quadrilaterals are just any shape that's closed and has four sides. But we can narrow down quadrilaterals and name them more specifically. And we do that by asking ourselves questions. So the first question is, does it have parallel lines? Well, if it has two pairs of parallel lines, it becomes a parallelogram. And all of these have two pairs of parallel lines, so all of them are parallelograms. If it has one pair of parallel lines, it's called a trapezoid. So on this one, the top and bottom are parallel, but not the sides, and same thing here. And if it has no pairs of parallel lines, it's just called a quadrilateral. It doesn't have a special name. So let's look at parallelograms in particular, because parallelograms can be narrowed down even more and given more specific names. And you do that by asking yourself questions. So the first question you'd want to ask is, does it have right angles? Well, if it does have right angles, then you can also call it a rectangle. So since these are parallelograms with right angles, they're called rectangles. These parallelograms don't have right angles, so they're not given a specific name. They're just still called parallelograms. But we can narrow it down even more. We ask ourselves, are its sides the same length? And if it has the same length of sides, then the rectangles are known as squares. So a square can be called a rectangle, or a parallelogram, or a quadrilateral. It has many names. Well, if we look at the parallelograms that didn't have right angles, but do have equal sides, that's called a rhombus. So a rhombus can be called a rhombus, or a parallelogram, or a quadrilateral. So let's use this, what we've just learned, to help us answer the questions. So on number one, we're supposed to circle every word used to describe the shape. So this shape is a polygon because it's a closed figure. It is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. And now we need to start finding out if it's any of these things as well. So is it a parallelogram? Well, to be a parallelogram, it has to have two pairs. So it can't be a parallelogram. And if it can't be a parallelogram, it can't be any of the other things that are parallelograms, like a rectangle or a square or a rhombus. So now we can check and see if it's a trapezoid. A trapezoid has one pair, and if we see here, it's one pair. So this shape can be called a trapezoid, a quadrilateral, or a polygon. So let's look at number two. We know it's a polygon because it's a closed figure, and it's a quadrilateral because it has four sides but is it a parallelogram? Well, parallelograms have two pairs, and since these are parallel and these are, it is a parallelogram. So if it's a parallelogram, it can't be any of these things, so we're gonna go ahead and take off trapezoid. So now that it's a parallelogram, let's find out if it's a rectangle. Well, rectangles have to have right angles, and this shape doesn't have right angles, so it's not a rectangle, and if it's not a rectangle, it can't be a square. So is it a rhombus? Well, a rhombus has equal sides, and this is not equal sides, so it's not a rhombus. So the only thing this shape could be is a parallelogram, a quadrilateral, or a polygon. All right, let's look at this one. It is a polygon because it's a closed figure. It is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. But is it a parallelogram? And yes, since both pairs are parallel, it is a parallelogram. But is it a rectangle? Well, no, because rectangles have to have right angles. So if it's not a rectangle, it can't be a square, but it could be a rhombus. A rhombus is just when a parallelogram has equal sides. It's hard to tell sometimes on parallelograms because the sides are tilted. So you should get out your ruler and check to be sure. But this one does have equal sides, so it's a rhombus. And it can't be a trapezoid if it is a parallelogram. So let's look at this one. It is a polygon, it is a quadrilateral, and it is a parallelogram because it has two pairs of parallel lines. And it is a rectangle because it has right angles. But is it a square? No, 
because it, ha it does not have equal sides and it can't be a rhombus either or a trapezoid. All right, we'll do one more. So a square is a polygon and it is a quadrilateral and it is a parallelogram because it has all parallel sides. And it's a rectangle because it's a parallelogram with right angles. And it's a square because it's a parallelogram with right angles that are the same length. So a square is technically a rectangle. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. So it can't be a rhombus or a trapezoid. All right, so you try some on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck.